Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, this is a very exciting video. I have decided to order myself a weighted hula hoop. I'm just showing you a box at the moment. I'm going to open it up. Um, I'm hoping this is what it is, otherwise this could be a massive fail. But I have seen the TikTok trend of using a weighted hula hoop for a week and seeing how your inches around your waist um, change. Now, I this video is not for weight loss purposes. It is not to change my body as such. If this triggers you, please turn off now. I am very happy with my weight and I'm very happy with my waist. Um, but it's a bit of fun. I wanted to see what it did. I can't open it at the moment. I'm going to have to go get some scissors. But I just wanted to see what it was like and whether it works, basically. Um, and I've been eyeing up a weighted hula hoop for some time anyway. Um, because it's a bit of fun. So if you've watched my channel, you know I'm a gym goer. You know I like working out. I've worked out um, all of lockdown and I thoroughly enjoy it. It's part of my daily routine. And I feel like sometimes, like on my rest day, rest day, I always have an active rest day, I'm always doing something. I like to do, I would like to do something like when I'm watching the TV at night. So I thought a weighted hula hoop could be something I could do either in the mornings or, you know, when I wake up and I'm watching Good Morning Britain or whatever. Um, and something I can do when I'm watching Married at First Sight. <laughs> when Jack's at football or when he's out revising or whatever I just feel like this could be something that I can do and I will enjoy because let's face it the hula hoop is fun so I'm going to go open this I'll show you the box I know I'm going to have to build it to build it um which I will do and I'm going to start this challenge tomorrow I thought I would just film the intro now I'm going to start it tomorrow I'll measure my waist tomorrow see what that's like um and then we will start the hula hooping um, I am no expert in the hula hooping world, that is for sure. I haven't hula hooped since I was a kid. So, you know, it might take a while to get my hips going again, <laughs> but we'll see. And I will give you an honest review at the end of this week and we will see whether this is worth buying. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So I need to build it. it hasn't come with any instructions or anything. So I'm going to build this at lunchtime and we will see what it's like. Um, but yeah, it looks promising. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so here is my hula hoop. Um, and if you just watch that clip, I just tried it out and one bit already fell off. So hopefully it will um, work when I actually do it properly. We'll see. <laughs> okay. I've just woken up, as you can tell, but excuse all the mess in the background. It's the next day from the clip I filmed yesterday and I am going to take my measurements so that we can start this hula hooping challenge. I am not going to hula hoop now, but I'm going to hula hoop tonight. And I thought I'd take my measurements this morning because um, for my mental health reasons, doing it in the afternoon is just not for me. Um, no questions asked. So my hair is a right mess. But anyway, let me take my inches then. Um, yes, I'm in my pyjamas. And yes, I went out for a meal last night. So um, I've probably put on a few inches. Right, so on my waist we are, on my waist here I am just under 27. Just demonstrate how poor I am at this at the moment, by the way. Right? I can't even get more than a couple of minutes. Oh, actually, I'm doing all right. So I'm just going to do this for 20 minutes, 10 minutes each side. I don't think I'll be able to do the other way. Um, quite good, I'm quite impressed with myself. So yeah, I'll be doing this tonight. Let me try the other way. Yeah, okay. So 20 minutes. So next time you see me, I'll be in some form of active wear and I'll be doing me hula hooping. Okay, everyone, 
it's time. Ignore my clothes are there. I am going to do the first of my hula hooping challenge. Um, I have already been to the gym today. I've done an arms workout, and I know that um, I know that they. The, the challenge really is to do it without any other workouts but I'm just carrying on as my normal life because if I don't go to the gym or do a workout it messes with my mental health so we are going to do it I'm just going to do my normal normal day eat whatever I want to eat as in what I would normally eat and hula hoop at the same time so um I will try and limit the amount of times I do abs workout because obviously this is working your abs um and we will see where we get to so I'm just going to do snippets of myself doing it and an update afterwards for the next week. And I'm out of breath because I've just been doing a DIY project in the garden. And I will, yeah, come back to you then once I've done my first 10 minutes on one side and I'm gonna go again on the other. I need to try and minimize the amount I use my hips and try and just keep it really subtle. And that is the first 20 minutes of hula hooping done um day one complete i really enjoyed it um i'm no expert in hula hooping it dropped several times I had to pick it up and i just went again um but i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it and i think yeah really enjoyed that so i'll definitely do it every i will obviously I'm doing it for the video but i think i will continue it um personally for me i can't feel that i'm going to have any bruises um, but we'll just see what it's like tomorrow. I think they normally come on the second day. So we'll see what it's like on the second day. And yeah, I will see you all. Ow! <laughs> I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> or in like two seconds. Right. So next morning. And I'm in some of my pyjamas. But we... It doesn't matter. Um, I've taken my nails off last night. I've got my thumbs left. Does anyone else find their thumbs the hardest ones to take off? Um, so yeah. And just try and keep them at the length they've stopped at, but we'll see. Um, right, next day I'm going to try and do this hula hoop in this morning instead of the evening because I just fancy doing it now, out of the way, you know, start my day on a good foot. So I'm going to do that. Oh, look at that. Can you see that muscle there? Anyway, so I'll crack on. I feel fine this morning, no bruises, fine. Um, I think it's after the second or third day you start to get bruises, so... Let's see what we have. Oh my god, there's a hole in my hula hoop already. Um, yeah. All right. See you in a bit. <laughs> okay. Second day of hula hooping done. I actually really enjoyed it today. Um, I can see that I'm better on one side than the other, um, which I think most people would be anyway. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. Looking forward to tomorrow. I want to keep going. I want to do longer than 20 minutes, but I know the challenge is 20 minutes. So, you know, we have to do 20 minutes. Um, but yeah, I can definitely see myself carrying this on. Um, it's easy. It's enjoyable. I just stand in front of the TV. Happy day. So I'll see you tomorrow. Day three, sorry about the blinds, but day three of the hula hooping challenge. Um, feeling good, um, no bruises, no pain. Um, I'm just gonna crack on. I've been to the gym already today. Um, it's now six o'clock, I think. Yeah, dead on six, literally dead on six. So I will start my 20 minutes, 10 minutes each side, and um, yeah, check in afterwards. Third day done. I actually found the one side, I went the whole 10 minutes without um, stopping. I, it didn't fall off once. And then the other side I really struggled with, couldn't keep it up. But that doesn't matter. You just pick it up, you keep going and get it done. Um, I actually am feeling like I might have a little bit of pain there tomorrow. I don't think I'll bruise. Um, 
but yeah, I feel really good after that. I actually had a little, I've had the heating on all day, but I do have a little bit of a sweaty head. So yeah, why do my eyes look really dark? Yeah, really good. Back on it tomorrow. Um, probably do it tomorrow morning. Um, and yeah, halfway through. day four i've been out all day i've just got home it's literally half nine and i'm gonna do my 20 minutes of hula hooping um i've literally been out all day um so we'll see how we get on with this not really feeling it must be honest i'd rather just sit on the sofa and do nothing for the next hour but we're gonna give it a go so i will hula hoop for the next 20 minutes <laughs> Well, that felt actually quite good, um, surprisingly, because I wasn't in the mood. Um, and I've just finally sat down. Um, yeah, so we'll see how we get on tomorrow. Um, I'll probably do it on my first thing tomorrow morning. Um, so I'll check in with you then. Okay, it's day five. I cannot believe it's day five of the hula hooping challenge. Um, I'm on my lunch hour and I'm just going to get it done now because... I just want to get it done. I'm actually at Jack's grandma's tonight, so that, oh, let me just move this. That will be the main reason why I'm doing it now. Um, yeah, feeling really good, really energized. I'm not at the gym today, so this is my only workout, really. Um, I had quite a busy day yesterday, uh, lots of walking. Um, so I've had this, I've had two consecutive days of rest days, um, but I did go to the gym five days last week so i've made up normally i would have like two rest days separated so a tuesday normally and a sunday um but yeah this week i'm in sunday and monday and i've got the gym the rest of the week and i'll probably have um friday off because i'm out so friday and possibly sunday will be free um rest days so i don't know why i told you that because we're doing a hula hooping challenge I'm gonna put the TV on, I'm gonna crack on for 20 minutes and then I'm gonna have some lunch. Okay, 20 minutes done. Um, if you're looking at doing this challenge, I would really recommend it. Um, or even if you're just looking to get a hula hoop, it's really good and it's really effective. And I feel like I've done a workout. Um, my Fitbit tells me I've done 20 minutes of working out just by moving my hips a little bit. It's just a no brainer. Um, I think it's great. And I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to continue it. Um, so I'll be back on tomorrow. Um, again, I'll probably do it in the morning. No, I'll do it in the morning, not on my lunch hour. Um, and yeah, and then the following day is the last day. So we've got two more days left of the challenge. And then we can take our measurements and see what it's like. But if you're looking to get a weighted hula hoop, get one. They're so worth the money. I've really enjoyed this so far. And I'm definitely going to continue it. <laughs> okay, so excuse my hair. I'm going out tonight and I've just dried it. I've just got out of the shower, done my gradual tan. My straps just broke, but I'm going to pretend it hasn't. Um, and I've just dyed some air out of my hair and put it in some clips to pin it up whilst I do this last day of the challenge and whilst I do my makeup. This bit there is doing my heading. Um, <laughs> I have edited all this video apart from obviously today and I've realised the whole time I've been saying it's the wrong day. So apologies if that's annoying. I've put the days on the screen. Um, but this is actually day seven of the challenge. Um, so tomorrow I will check my measurements. But I am going out tonight. So I am apprehensive that nothing would have changed. But that's okay. Because I'm doing my normal 
Dyer, it's Jack's sister's birthday, so we're going to enjoy ourselves. So I'm going to do my last 20 minutes of hula hooping. 10 minutes, 10 minutes on each side, obviously. Um, and yeah, tomorrow morning I will tie you my measurements, I guess. Um, yeah, so this is the last time you'll see me hula hooping. Um, in this video anyway, no doubt I'll be doing it in next videos. <laughs> That went really well the last day of hula hooping. This is how my hair's gone since it's dropped, if you're wondering. Um, and we're off out now. So I will check in tomorrow with my measurements across my waist and we'll see what happens. Um, not expecting anything at all. Um, I didn't bruise or anything. Sorry, excuse me, night on the background. I didn't bruise or anything throughout the week. So I'm not sure why I didn't, but others did. I don't know, but we'll see what happens um, tomorrow. The weather is miserable and I've just done my hair all nice. So that's great. Okay. It's measurement day. Now, I just wanted to say again that anyone that's triggered by measurements, please basically switch off now to see what I've lost. If I have, I might not have. Um, this video is just for this challenge. It's not to do it all the time. Um, and if I have got results, I don't expect to have it every single week. Um, yeah. That's my little bit. Um, so let's just get onto the measurements. As you guys know that this challenge I have actually found really quite easy. Excuse me. Oh, I um, I know that some people were doing five minutes each way and some are doing 10. Now I've done 10 because that's all the ones I watched up until filming this and since filming it. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos of them doing five minutes. So I'm not sure how this is going to work, but I don't know if, I, if I'm going to get better results. I don't know if I'm not going to get results, <laughs> um, but let's see. So when we done this, I was 27. That was it. It was just, it was just short of 27. Um, so let's see what it is now. I am in exactly the same pajamas um, because I wash them. <gasps> So I'm going to try and do it before I see so the dog come in. So I'm just going to try and do it before I get to them. And we're now, oh, I've lost it. <laughs> and I've gone the other way. Let's do it again. So on my waist. If you can see that. You see that? We are just short of 26, so I've just lost an inch. Um, so an inch, um, so it does work. 10 minutes inside, I've lost an inch off my waist. I can't tell, if I'm honest. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm happy with that. So it works, it does work, but obviously it's not something that you're gonna do every week and lose another inch every week. So if you are thinking about getting yourself a weighted hula hoop, definitely do it because it's a bit of fun it's nothing too serious um you can do it just watching tv that's all i did it just watching a bit of tv in the morning the lunch break in the evening whatever and i thoroughly enjoyed it so i'm gonna continue it because it's just a bit of fun so yeah an inch it's good isn't it an inch um excuse the background so if you'd like to see me do any more of these sort of challenges in the future, please let me know. Um, I do not have a TikTok myself. Uh, I just watch TikToks. So I don't actually do them. I'm not very good with syncing my lips with the music or dancing. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yeah. So I have to kind of wait for a trend to get big before I kind of hop on TikTok to watch it. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. I might try the TikTok foods because I've seen a lot of those, you know, the pasta bakes um, and all that jazz. So I might try those. Um, yeah. Anyway, enough of me rambling because that's all I ever do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.
Bye guys.